Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We got a bunch of classic NHL releases here, so we're going to break down all the cards as usual. Let's get into the new classic cards in NHL 20. So kicking things off, we've got the 93 Yazin Ellies, I'm going to say. I probably butchered that name. 5'11", 185 with 99 skating. A uh, low 90 slap shot, but mid to high 90s wrist shot, which is what you want in a winger card. You could throw him on faceoffs if you've got a lower overall team with 94, but probably want to use him on the wing. That being said, he does have 96 body checking, so you know this would be kind of a card if it's super cheap and you know he's under six foot. He has some stats that you that you can use to make up for the fact that he doesn't have uh, you know a, a gigantic frame. Uh, not a bad card at all. We'll take a look and see uh, what he's going for right now in the auctions because obviously it's gonna be cheap. Yeah, like under 50k. Nothing wrong with that price. And uh, yeah, so not a bad value. Moving on to the 93 overall, Jan Mersak again, 5'11", 183, almost the exact same build with 99 skating across the board, uh, and then a much worse shot than uh, Ailey. I'm, I'm going to say it's Ailey's. Uh, we'll take a look and see what he's going for, and right now it's it's much more. There's no reason. See, guys, this is why I do these kind of videos. There's no reason for this card to be more expensive. It's the same build, worse shot. Yeah, this would be a pass. Uh, I would much rather go uh, with the prior 93 Ailey's. Moving on to the 94 overall, Patrick Rybar, six foot three, one ninety. Um, 63 aggression means that he's going to sit deep in his net, which is good for the meta of this game. Um, just, I'm not really sure. It depends on his price point. We'll take a look here at what he's going for because he's only six foot three. Yeah, probably pass on 50k for him. You probably get Mike Smith for cheaper, and I'd rather have him. Then we've got the 94 overall Gustav Rydal, six foot three, two oh nine, great size with 99 skating. 94 shot slap shot power, 92 wrist shot power, and then 88 and 86 on the accuracies. That's kind of rough for the stage of the game. Um, awarenesses are 92 and 92, and he has 99 faceoffs. All of his hand stats are in the mid 90s as well. But that shot accuracy uh, in August, when all of the goaltenders in their high 90s, is gonna be a tough sell. Again, we'll take a look at the price, and yeah, there is absolutely no reason uh, for that. Again, his size is great, but there's just much better options for these price points. And we've got the 94, or sorry, 95 overall. Jeff Buka Boom, six foot five, two thirty one, automatically makes him one of the best cards uh, on right defense. He has 98 skating. Uh, for speed and acceleration, but his agility is 92. But in terms of defenseman, agility is probably the least important stat. Acceleration is super important, in my opinion, because if you get a shot blocked at the blue line, you got to be able to catch up. Uh, his slap shot power is 98. Accuracy is 92. Wrist shot, not all that important on defenseman. Body checking is 99. Defensive awareness 95. This is a great card. I I'm curious to see what he's going for. 125 is this one in particular. Uh, yeah, 125 is a good price. 95 overall, one of the better right defensemen uh, for the rest of the game, essentially. Then we've got the 95 overall, Steve Duchesne, 5'11", 95 skating across the board. Sh slap shot powers, uh, 96. Wrist shots, 96 as well, and his accuracy is 90. This card is uh, a 95 by overall, but all of the most important stats are not in the high 90s. So uh, this would be a hard avoid to combine that with the fact he is only 5'11". Then we've got the 95 overall Kyler Yamamoto. I've said it all year long. He's five foot eight, so that pretty much makes him unusable in terms of um, you know competitive play. 99 skating, uh, shots almost perfect. The 95 accuracy, 98 power, uh, hand stats all in the high 90s. Faceoffs 97. Again, it, I mean, this card might be, at this point, you might want to try and see if you can use these kinds of cards just because it's so late in the year. But yeah, it's just it's not really usable at 135. There's no way. Yeah, even 87. Like, I'd much rather have the 94 LEs card than this, so hard pass. Moving on to the 96 overall, Brian Burrard, the Maple Leafs version. I remember him well from my childhood. 99 skating, 99 slap shot power, 94 accuracy, with 96 body checking, awarenesses at 99 and 96. This is a great card on left defense. Um, someone that you're looking for, someone in the mid-90s to go after. This one's 91000 Not a bad price. The market's crashed. Yeah, like that's not a bad price at all uh, for the 96 Brian Burrard. Then we've got the 96 overall Larry Murphy. This is one of the most popular cards early on at launch. It's 6'2", 2 tens, great size. Has 99 skating, essentially. 99 slap shot accuracy with 96 power. You don't see that very often. Does the slap shot accuracy be higher than the power? Hand stats all in the high 90s. And then his awareness is 96 and 99. This is a great card. If you if you are a fan of Larry Murphy, uh, a fantastic card. I'm curious to see what he's going for. Yeah, this this one is a high 100,000s. Yeah, 150 is not bad. Um, you know, right-handed defensemen are a little bit smaller, like I said. So I've been saying, but I'd much rather have Buka Boom, to be honest with you. 
Moving on to the 98 Grant Fear. Unfortunately, until they figure something out, these kinds of cards will not be able to be used in competitive play. You'll just get super frustrated. 5 foot 11. Everything, all the stats are perfect. It's a great build. Just 5 foot 11, unfortunately. And then we've got the 99 overall Guy Lafleur at 6 foot. It's funny because I did uh, my five favorite hut cards. I haven't been a big fan of them this year just because I didn't pack them early and I had like a stacked full icon team in the first month of the, but I could just he wasn't one I had but in 19 he was one of my favorite cards he was an absolute glitch um for short side wristers I would love to try 99 Gila Fleur out let me know if you've if you've got him if you tried him out um his build obviously nothing crazy but all the stats are 99 so at, at this point that's you know not a bad price at all I'm curious what his price point is yeah about a million um doesn't surprise me and then we've got the 99 overall, Johnny Busick. It's funny because much like how Guillaume Fleur, I said, was one of my favorite cards in 19, um, Johnny Busick cards from 19 and 20 have been some of my least favorite. I don't know what it is. doesn't play up to his stats, so uh, we'll uh, we'll have to see. But I'm, I'm just not a big fan. I think it's because he's 215 maybe, and he just plays a little bit slower. But, yeah, this would be a, this would be a pass for me. I'm curious to see what he's going for. 345K. Just look at the price difference. Um, so this would, be, uh, this would be a pass for me. All right, guys, so that is going to do it for today's classic NHL release. Let me know what you think in the comments section down below. And please subscribe if you haven't for daily NHL sports content at this point. We've got Madden, golf, you know, NHL, UFCs on my Twitch channel. We've been playing everything and uh, as well as MLB, guys. So hit me up on Twitch as well, Monday to Friday, 12 p.m. Eastern time to about 4 or 5 p.m. And thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.